Thank you, Ken Carla. Minister, next Monday, postmasters are holding an emergency meeting to consider balloting on industrial action simply because they've reached a tipping point with regard to payments. For example, their fit for purpose payment agreed in their 2018 contract, their 2021 Christmas payments, and payments for additional work uh, because of the money laundering directive. That was agreed nearly a year ago. More and more payments, but there, sorry, more and more work, but payments not forthcoming. Also, Minister, an interdepartmental group uh, was set up one year ago to examine the feasibility of directing more government business to the post office network. It is absolutely urgent that that report is published to ensure the viability of the post office network and decent incomes for postmasters. Can you tell me, Minister, when that report will be published? Thanks very much, um, uh, Deputy Harkin. Uh, just to assure you that this uh, issue is being actively worked on. Uh, we are aware of the fact that the existing transformation payments are due to expire uh, at the end of this year. Uh, I'm familiar with the previous report that Grant Thornton would have um, brought forward, for example, about the need for additional support uh, in certain circumstances. Uh, Minister Nocton is leading the work. Uh, in relation to the future of the post office network has been working closely with Minister Humphreys about the provision of services uh, and will be bringing forward um, that report uh, and indeed proposals uh, very shortly.